Hey everyone, welcome back to The Feast Studio. Today I'm sharing my favorite brushes. One of the most frequently asked questions on my Instagram is, what brushes am I using? I pretty much exclusively only use golden Taclon brushes from Chukal. This line is synthetic, but they also have natural hair brushes. I like them because they're high quality and they're affordable. However, I started by using craft store brushes because they offer a variety of different styles and materials. But for this video, I'm gonna talk more about the style rather than the brand. My top three favorite brushes are flats, rounds, and scrimps. Keep watching for how and why I use them on designer toys, plus bonus tips. Up first are flat brushes. They make it really easy to cover large areas, so they're great for base coats. I like to have a wide range of sizes because they help me with different jobs. For example, smaller flats allow me to get into tight and raised areas, and it gives me more control over the brush. Whereas the larger flat brushes cover large areas quickly and reduce the amount of strokes, which can prevent streaks, giving you a more even and polished surface. Don't throw away your old flat brushes. They are great for dry brushing. Using that technique on good brushes will ruin them. I have dedicated a few old flat brushes for purposes that work great. The more frayed and gross they get, the more unique they are to dry brushing. The other way I repurpose old flat brushes is to use them for sanding. I have a large flat that I accidentally broke the handle of, so now I use it to sweep dust out of the cracks of my figures. What ways do you repurpose your old brushes? Let me know in the comment section. Next, we have rounds. They come in different sizes, but also end types. Some have blunt ends where it's rounded off and others have pointed, which is what I use. I use them for painting curves and wavy lines. Also for rounded edges on my figures. Just like flat brushes, I'm using different sizes for specific results that I'm looking for. However, I don't like this one for large areas. Its rounded shape means it doesn't really lay the paint down evenly, which can leave thicker lines or paint on the edges of the brush stroke. And it can be difficult to get that smooth application. So to make it easy, I just use a flat brush for that. When painting, you can thin out your paint with a little bit of water to get a smoother finish. This applies to all the brushes, but it works really well with the round brushes because they hold a good amount of water. I'm planning a video all about paint soon. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I can answer them in that video. Last but not least, the script brush. I love the level of control I have with this brush. Because of its length, I'm able to get long flowing movements. I use this brush for all my line work and getting the finished edge dialed in perfectly. The thin bristles allow for clean lines, which is similar to using a fine point marker. I use this brush to create outlines and then I fill them in with a flat or round brush, depending on the area kind of like drawing or graffiti. When you're painting on a round surface like an art toy, you can move both the brush and the figure to help create a clean edge. The key is to be confident and to not hesitate when doing this. I know it's easier said than done, but I've done this for a long time and made plenty of mistakes. I recommend practicing before trying this on a finished piece. How I would do this is to try it on a blank figure. This is a blank beta. You can use it kind of like a scratch paper, creating different lines and different effects just to get really familiar with the 3D shape. And you can use new brushes and see how they work. I set up affiliate links in the description for these brushes if you wanna pick them up. If you wanna give painting a 3D figure a try, beta will be available really soon. To catch updates as well as exclusive behind the scenes content, join our Patreon. We also have a tier where we share print files for anyone with a 3D printer. This month we released Berry Bones and last month we released Gary Floats. They'll be up for a limited time, so join before they're gone. And of course, I would like to thank all my patrons. You all are amazing. I hope this video was helpful and showed you how you can add my favorite brushes to your studio. It really comes down to practicing with your tools. So go paint something. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video.